At Kashiwazaki Korea Nuclear Power Station, tsunami countermeasure implementation is in progress for all units. Emergency safety measures, such as the securement of emergency power supply, has already been implemented. As a part of the tsunami countermeasures, sea walls and flat barrier walls will be built along the seaside, assuming a 10 meter tsunami. You will be watching a video of the seawall and flat barrier wall constructions. The total length of the seawall is approximately 1,500 meters, which is comprised of a 1,000 meter reinforced concrete wall and a 500 meter robust embankment made of cement mixed soil. The piles are inserted down to create a sufficiently hard bedrock for firm support, allowing the seawall to withstand earthquakes and tsunamis. The seawall construction on the Unit's 1-4 to four side started last November. The construction work starts off with the ground improvement work, and then moves on to the pre-boring steel pipe piling, rebar assembly, and concrete placement. あの、熱中症心配な時期を迎えます。自分の体調管理、あと自分だけではなくて周りの方、あの、なんか変だなとかいうことを気づいてあげられる。Approximately 150 people gather for the morning meeting held at 7:30 every morning and the safety morning meeting on the first day of each month. The first stage of the construction is the implementation of ground improvement measures to prevent liquefaction due to earthquakes, as well as to prevent the ground from being scraped away by the tsunami hitting the seawall. While cement milk, which is a mixture of cement and water, is injected into the soil, the ground is reinforced by spinning the mixer blade connected to a chain. Before the foundation piles are installed, pre-boring is done to soften the inhomogeneous stiff soil layer, which is at about 50 meters to 35 meters from the ground surface. Steel pipe piles with a diameter of 1.2 meters and a thickness of 2.5 centimeters are used as the foundation piles, though the depth to which the piles are installed varies depending on the location. It is generally 25 meters to 50 meters to ensure that the piles are inserted down to the Nishiyama layer, which supports the nuclear power station. The piles are installed by using this oil pressure hammer. This is one of the largest oil, oil pressure hammers to be used on the ground, and it was used for the artificial island construction of the Trans-Tokyo Bay Highway. What you're seeing is the tip of the pile driver which is installed on the head of the pile. Finally, steel pipe piles are installed. For each location, two to four steel pipe piles of 6.5 to 16 meter long are assembled together and installed. The joint part is welded for an hour to ensure a firm connection. Once all the piles are installed, they are protected like this until the next process. In the following rebar assembly process for the concrete seawalls, the foundation piles inserted down to the supporting layer are attached to the retaining wall, which stands perpendicularly. The rebars of the maximum diameter of 5 cm are used for the seawall construction, which are the same ones used in the reactor building and the turbine building. The rebar assembly was done for the horizontal area of the concrete seawall, 15 meters above sea level at approximately 2.5 meters, and the vertical area at approximately 10 meters. The next process is concrete filling. Concrete is filled using a long hose, and the concrete of the 10 meter vertical area is made by repeating this process three times. 
The drainage system is also installed underneath the foundation to allow drainage in case seawater flows to the inside of the seawalls. From Unit 5 to Unit 7, seawalls whose height is 15 meters above sea level are being built upon a piled stiff cement improved soil. The total length is approximately 1,000 meters. Seawalls are being built along units 5 to 7. Since this location is at 12 meters above sea level, 3 meters of cement improved soil is piled up. In addition, this, the soil of the existing slope on the seaside is replaced by cement improved soil to complete the seawall construction. As you can see, cement improved soil strengthens and stiffens while normal soil crumbles easily. First, the cement improved soil is made by mixing soil with cement on the central hill and transported to the construction site. Then it is poured in, gets stiffened after smoothing out the surface and accumulated in layers. Measures are implemented to prevent water intrusion into the reactor building, where crucial equipment to ensure safety, such as emergency diesel generators, are installed, even in cases where the power station site is flooded by the tsunami. First, flood barrier walls are installed around the openings to let air into the reactor building. Similar to the sea walls, the flood barrier walls are built up to 15 meters above sea level. The piles are inserted down to create a sufficiently hard bedrock for firm support of the flood barrier wall, allowing it to withstand earthquakes and tsunamis and protect equipment crucial to safety. Flood barrier walls will be built around the reactor building of each unit. These are the flood barrier walls being built around Unit 3 and 4. For this foundation, unlike the steel pipe piles used for the seawalls, the casing is pushed into the ground by utilizing special equipment while taking out the soil inside in order to build concrete piles. Once the drilling equipment hits the bedrock, a processed rebar is hung down into the location where inside soil is taken out. The rebar is about 12 meters long. Concrete is filled into the location where the rebar was inserted and the casing is removed afterwards. This is how the concrete piles are made. 10 meter flood barrier walls are built on these robust foundation piles. Currently, the rebar assembly for the walls is in progress. The flat barrier walls for Unit 1 have already been completed. Seawater intrusion is prevented with steel flat barrier walls and flat barrier panels. Underground gas oil tanks used for the gas turbine power supply cars have been installed adjacent to the temporary space allocated for the power supply cars and fire engines at 35 meters above sea level. These gas oil tanks further secure power supply in emergencies. A freshwater reservoir with a capacity of approximately 20,000 tons will be built at the power station site in order to ensure a sufficient amount of freshwater storage for reactor injection. A freshwater reservoir, which is 64 meters long, 120 meters wide, and 6 meters deep, is being built at 45 meters above sea level. The water stored in the well installed nearby is supplied to this reservoir and approximately 
twenty thousand tons of water can be stored. Taking advantage of the height difference, gravity allows the water to be transferred to the tank minus electric power usage. Once the reservoir is completed, the total water storage amount, which is the sum of the amount stored in the existing tank and the new one, will be twice as much as the current amount. At Kashiwazaki Korea Nuclear Power Station, we will make utmost effort in further enhancing safety to prevent earthquakes and tsunamis.